Good afternoon. We were going to film. What are you doing? Think fast. Ah! Alex. We were going to film a video where we tried the Iceland um, new beetroot no burgers. burgers. Yeah. But um, we've got a busy day ahead, so we'll do that next week instead. So we're just going to vlog today. And I'm going to show you my lunch because this is beautiful. I've kind of started to eat it. But um, if you haven't been following me on Instagram, then maybe you didn't know. Or have we talked about oomph on the channel yet? I think we have. Oh, uh, have we? Quite a lot. Oh. Yeah. I'm in love with oomph. We're in love with oomph. And would you think that this is vegan? Let me get a good shot of it. Like, would you honestly think that this chicken here is vegan? I just can't get my head around it. So I've made myself like a big chicken salad. And I've just been loving eating these kinds of salads recently, like tofu salads or oomph salads. <laughs> or just like, I don't know, just, they're just so good and they're so delicious. And then I always make a really amazing tahini dressing. This is just tahini, tamari, sriracha and lemon juice. And if I had maple syrup, I would have put that in, but we don't have any. Um, and it's so goddamn delicious. And I'm gonna enjoy this now because I went to the gym this morning and I woke up late and then it was, Alex said that we wouldn't go on a bike ride today because he's a horrible boy. And this was the day we were supposed to go on a bike ride. So I had to unexpectedly do leg day and I didn't have breakfast, I had a banana. And then um, when I did leg day and it was impossible, it was so difficult um, because it was way later in the morning than I usually go to the gym. So I was just absolutely like thrashed by the end of it. I came home, had a smoothie, showered, and then I had a, I'm having my lunch straight away afterwards. Oh, it's lunchtime. Yeah, but yeah, it's been a slow morning, but we've had a very busy last week with the website and stuff. We sure have. I'm thinking now, because we're not doing that video, maybe I should go on a bike Are ride. you kidding me? If, if you do, I'll literally kill you. Are you kidding me? Well, it is a really nice day. Are you kidding? There's no way you're doing that, because I will kill you. Right. You can't do that to me. We're going tomorrow together. Let me think. <sighs> what a horrible person you are. No, we'll just film this. I'll edit it. Bish bash bosh. And then we'll go out tomorrow. Yeah, um, my one of my good friends from Cornwall's coming up tomorrow, and also my sister for the weekend, so that's gonna be really good. Right now I'm working on a video, um, a sponsored video with iHerb, so I've got to edit that and send that off to them. So I'm gonna be working on that for the rest of today because we filmed everything for it. I like Thursdays because Thursdays is like um, normally the day after I've done all the filming and I'm just kind of sitting on the sofa editing all day and I can kind of relax and it's quite a slow day and I normally don't have to like rush in the mornings as much, so I'm thinking, well, I'm just editing, ready for the Friday video. My head looks really flat. I think it's these glasses. <laughs> yeah, somebody said that they preferred your other ones. I like both of them. I emailed them and they said, sure, here's the return slip. And then they hadn't attached anything to the email. Oh no. So, but they sent another one. But we don't have a printer. So. We'll go to the library, we've got a library card. To the library like a weirdo and print out my return slip. I have makeup still under my eyes. I always have this struggle, especially the mascara that I'm wearing, I've got in a minute, it doesn't come off because it's very like foolproof. Um, hey, can I try this? Joey does a share full! Yeah, you can. I want to Just have I a tiny bite, you then got, don't have that one. You've got the good, yeah. You, I'm really you, protective you, over you my food. You arranged a really good mouthful, so I'm. I'm... Have some of the chicken. Yeah, I've got to have some of the chicken. Would you look at this? Alex is eating a salad. I like the salad with the tahini dressing on it. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. This is what I think, like, loads of people think salads are gross, but it's like, well, you, you just haven't put the dressing on there. You haven't made a really nice dressing and you haven't made it, like, full of flavour. You've got to have mm. the salad leaves, you've got to have something crunchy, you've got to have something sweet, you've got to have something savoury, and then you've got to have a really creamy dressing, and that makes a good salad. It's a pity, because that's my least favourite oomph. Oh my god, it's the best one. It's my favourite one, because it's plain, so you can flavour it how you like. I flavoured it with some lemon as well. I know, but I like the barbecue. Mmm. Oh yeah. I thought that's what that was. I'm really upset when I saw it in the freezer. Because all the packaging looks the same on the front. Anyway, how is everybody? Let us know how you're doing. Hopefully you're all well. And have a go at Alex because I keep on telling him to reply to comments and he keeps on not uh, doing it. Well, yeah, that's true. He doesn't reply to comments. It takes two seconds. Well, Our lovely viewers comment. I have like, I my job is to obviously reply to my comments on my, um, over on my other channel. I can't do these ones as well. Otherwise, I'd spend all day doing it. So you need to just yeah. do it when you're on the toilet. Sit on your. You spend enough bloody time on the loo. Sit on the loo. Oh, coming from you. <laughs> sit on the loo and <laughs> and go on your phone. So everybody now came and make him feel guilty. Because a lot of the comments are like, "Great video." Yeah, like, then you reply. You say thank you. 
That person's taken the time I to know, write, write that to you. I've taken the time to make that video. Oh, for shush. You should reply. <laughs> right, I'm going to edit now and eat this. Somebody had a little bit of a panic, didn't they? <laughs> Every single time. I logged in to my, um, I tried logging into my Gmail account, which is attached to my website, and it said, couldn't find email address. And I was like, what the hell? And the thing, first thing that goes through my mind is I've been hacked. I was like, I've actually been hacked. And then I was thinking, oh God, I've not set up um, it properly. And I'm gonna, everything's gonna go wrong. And I rang up Google and I got through to Google Play rather than like G Suites, which is like emails. And what I realized the whole long and short of it was that I tried changing my username on my website because my name was coming up, my personal name, Madeline Abbott was coming up and I don't want that necessarily to be coming up. I want it to say like Madeline Olivia, which is my business name. I changed my name, but I changed my G Suite name, not my Squarespace name. So I changed my email to Madeline Olivia at madelineolivia.co.uk. And that's why it wouldn't let me log in because I was trying to log in at hello at madelineolivia.co.uk. But I've managed to fix the problem, but I did have a little bit of a panic and I did think that my website had been hacked but it's all recovered now and it's all fine. And now I can work after a very, very, very long morning. And Alex is making me a cup of tea to make me feel better. Aren't you? You can't hear me. I think he's making energy balls. Are you gonna make some energy balls? Yes, master. <laughs> no, no, it's too hot. It's tea, master. Thank you. So Alex is gonna make oh. some energy balls from my website. Are you? Oh, oh, yes. Here you go, you can film it. Come with me. <laughs> okay. So what you're gonna wanna do is, Take one cup of date balls, like this. Slap it in. And then add ingredients of your choice. What have we got here? I'm going for some cinnamon. The chocolate powder, cocoa powder. Mm. So that's about a tablespoon. Yeah, the recipe calls for two tablespoons, but we've run out. Maddie requested goji berries, which I haven't used in ages. Ah. Say about a tablespoon, there we are. Some chia, why not? Again, uh, yeah, I'll do. And finally, some oats. About half a cup. No, that's not gonna work. And if you're really smart like me, you'll forget to put the blade in. No, bugger. All right, get in there. Okay, pop it on. And then. Turd. Oh, he's a sticky fella. Oh, that looks so bad. Plop him down and then you just roll him into balls, I guess. Two, three, four, five, nine date balls. I mean, some of them are balls, some of them are kind of like egg shaped. Grab a bowl. That'd be big enough. Yeah. Pop them in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Yeah, so these are all for me right now. Yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. Look how good they are. I'll take the biggest one. Okay. <laughs> what, so flavor, got, what flavor are they? You've Crap. got goji, mm. chia, cinnamon, oat, date, chocolate. So these would be like two pounds each in a, in a shop in London or something. How much are delicious Lella's ones? Let's Google it. I haven't actually tried her ones. Have any of you guys tried her? Sorry, I'm eating my mouthful. <laughs> they're about one pound 80. One pound in Holland and Barrett. So I think they're two pound typically. Probably a bit bigger than those though, aren't they? 
I think they're similar. I think they're maybe a bit bigger, yeah. So how much is that? 18 pounds worth of food right there. <laughs> I haven't tried the delicious yellow ones. Yeah. Any... We will have to try them. I always mean They to. look really good. Yeah. I love delicious yellow too. She's great. You're into the same uni as her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's really, really cheap to make those if you get the right dates. Well, the ones we got, they were three pounds for like nearly a kilo. They were just in Tesco, like any supermarket. How much would I say we used? Like 75 p's worth? And then all the other li little bits, like a bit of oat, a bit of chia and all that. That's like pushing a pound for all that food. Not bad at all. Energy for days. Really good. I really love that flavour because they're not too chocolatey. They're kind of like, I don't know, very good. Yay Sweet. for me. Are they better than yours? The ones you make for your videos. It tastes the same. It's my recipe. Mine are better. So I just made some lunch. And, and Alex, stole it. Alex has given it to me. I just tried a piece. It was very nice. It was spicy. Do you put chilli powder in it? So there's something chilly in here. Jalapenos. Ah, it's got so the chicken. Got? Look how appealing it is. It looks really good, I think. Uh, in a way. It's hummus pasta, right? Yeah. Homemade hummus, sundry tomatoes, gluten-free pasta, oomph, sundry tomatoes, rocket. Yeah, pretty sure that's everything. Looks yum. And a bit of the guacamole. Mm. Let us try. Oh, it's hot. Oh, you're right. It's quite spicy. Jalapenos have seeped the flavour. Yeah, it's not bad. I thought it might taste a bit gross because it was just kind of all the leftovers in the fridge. Yeah, no, I knew that would be good because it's hummus pasta. Hummus pasta is like. Hummus pasta is good. I need to add that to my blog because it was just a recipe it's in a not random. On the blog? Well, no, because it was a recipe I just featured in a random what I ate today. And I get loads of questions from people saying, where's the hummus pasta recipe? Where's the oh. hummus pasta recipe? Because it's not really a recipe, but it is. Mm. It's just put some hummus in a pasta, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I want to put it on the blog anyway. We are now going outside. It's like eight o'clock, I've had my dinner. Alex hasn't for some reason. I'm not hungry. Well, you saw the size of my lunch. Oh. I was like so stuffed. My hair looks very curly today. Um, we're gonna go to the beach just for a walk because this edit is driving me a little bit insane. Sometimes videos just take forever and I think it's when I've not prepared my talking part. Nearly done now. I've been editing this video. Have you? Yeah. Oh, multitasking. Right, let's get out the door. Also, lol at my outfit. Do I, can I look any more Brightonian? <laughs> I feel like I literally look like- I didn't realize quite how vibrant you are. I look like are. a massive, like, typical Brighton with like the cool jacket and then like the hippie trousers and Doc Martens and then a vegan dog. <laughs> <laughs> Spring is officially sprung. Look at the bluebells on our little walk. Oh, look how beautiful. Oh, it makes me want to go home to Glythe Falls. This is nice. Look at my hair. It's <laughs> not, it smells like sea. Look. It smells good. Look. Good little pan. <laughs> Wait, uh, this, ah, this lens is great. I know. I don't think we're going to get a cool sunset though. Why not? Because it's, well we might do, but like, I suppose we could. I'm being pessimistic because it's very cloudy. <laughs> we've never been down this far with the sand. What do you mean we've never been down this far? With the sand? Yeah. Yeah. I've never been down. Yeah. Well, I don't think I have. Hello. Hi. This is booty. So we were just talking about how we think that these little, every time we come here, we think these little things are some kind of alien spaceship landing platform, right? Yeah. Oh, that's the bit. It just looks really suspicious, doesn't it? Yeah. That's what I think is going on. That's where the government is hiding aliens from us and testing secret things. Renewable energy is a myth. trip been to the beach how's my trip been to the beach well <laughs> review uh, from alex seven out of ten yeah what's well, where did the points get docked off uh one is quite cold two it's kind of cloudy and dark 
and three. There's not many people here, so I it's thought a bit... you were going to say I'm with you. <laughs> okay, six out of ten. <laughs> it was much more fun the last time we came because it was sunnier. What are you doing? Oh, you stood. It's my power pose. <laughs> Have you seen that? No. Have you seen those memes going around about like conservative politicians stand like in their power pose? Oh my god. Yeah, everyone was like having dinner on the beach the other day. Yeah. But I think maybe maybe we'll be like that tomorrow because it's sunny and it's Friday. And we'll have friends with us. Just one weekend I want without friends. What, what would you mean? <laughs> We're going home now. This is heavy. Could you hold it? Yeah. Right, let's run. Safety, safety. Why are you safety? I want to film you, Gavin. Jump as far as you can. As far as I can. Jump as I'll go get the cam. Did you land on it? You're a loser. So I've just finished season one of Outlander. And my goodness, it was really good, but also towards the end it got very intense. I don't know if any of you guys watch it, but it got seriously gruesome and brutal and like quite traumatic. Don't you think? Like one uh, of the episodes was literally like a horror movie. Yeah, I thought it was like some romantic uh, period story about... Which it started off as. That's the one criticism I have. I loved it. But there's too much unnecessary like gory bits. Like showing like bones sticking out and people being really badly hurt. I think for that type of genre, for the type of people who watch that, I don't know that many mm. people would have wanted to see that. Because I would imagine, I don't know, I'm not being stereotypical here, but I would imagine the vast majority of people watching that are women of my age and up, would you, realistically. And yeah. how many, like, women who are kind of after a period jump want to see, like, brutal, like, gore and stuff. Not that, like, men want to see it either, but, like, typically, it's not something that I want to watch. So I would have preferred it if they implied those things rather than like vividly showed them. Just a warning. Just, um, I think they were just trying to show off their like effects and stuff. And also make it really like realistic. Yeah. I think they wanted to have that element of it feeling very real to the time period. I don't know. I don't think it needed it. And also some shows nowadays, I feel like they have to have that type of thing to get the shock factor to get people watching. Yeah. They have to have the, th the sex and the violence to get people like, oh my gosh, have you seen this? This is crazy. I suppose the books are like that. Oh, maybe, yeah. But it's easy to write. A yeah, it's different, like, showing on screen. Yeah. But look at my yeah. under eye bags. I'm really, t I mean, there's a bit of shadow in here, but I'm really, really tired. Did you enjoy our romantic beach walk? Yeah, I did. It was nice. Did. Yeah. I've nearly finished my video. Nice. And then I'm going to go to bed and sleep and get rid of these eye bags. Really. Oh my gosh, do you know what's happening tomorrow? What? Jazz and Charlie are coming. No, even better. What? Our new bin is coming. <laughs> we haven't had a bin since moving here, is that ridiculous? Yeah. what's that bin? Uh, six months. Because I was really adamant, I was like, we don't need a bin, I don't want to buy a big piece of plastic just to put in our kitchen, because yeah. our kitchen's really small, and it's not the sort of kitchen you can fit a bin. Like, there's mm. nowhere to put it, but then we've just caved. It's gonna be so good. It is. We can impress all our friends. That's making me sleepy, stroking my head. Right, I've got to get this video done and then, um, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sassenach! <laughs> <laughs>